next. What is going on? Monday night. It is Monday night. We're excited. Monday night sketchy. This is sketchy live. I am John Jalabi, and with me is my beautiful, lovely wife, the all-knowing, the all-seeing, running the show. Almost like I guess you'd be like a producer, a producer. producer. You'd be stage direction manager, team captain. Secretary. Kind of the um, <laughs> makeup department. I, I don't um, get any makeup. Set design. So you're kind of you're kind of slow uh, on that regard. Clothing. I I casted. Uh, oh yes, you casted me as <laughs> myself, which is pretty cool that you did that. Yeah. So what's going on? It's another Monday night tonight. We are gonna dive in and visit our good old friends from childhood past. Mark. <laughs> the Jetsons. Uh, if you remember the Jetsons, good old uh, George Jetson. Georgie Jets with his wife Thelma. Jane, his wife. Oh, nice. Very good to see you. We can't get in trouble. We'd love to play the song, but I, I think we get in quite a bit. Of... Right. What was the dog's name? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so come along with us. Uh, and uh, let's have a little fun. We're going to sketch out a little cool Jetson's hot rod, and uh, we're going to throw George in there. We're going to throw uh, his wife. What was her name? Uh, Je Jetty. <laughs> I just said it. <laughs> Jane, his wife. Jane, his I can't. I don't remember her name unless I sing this. Song. Significant <laughs> other. Yeah. I think I'm in the same boat. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's All do right. this. So we're going to do a fun little sketch. We're going to have a good time. Feel Let free to end. chime in. We'll have a, yeah. I'm going to zoom in on your pre-draw. So this is what we have pre-draw. It's, it's, it's a light, it's a light, it's a light pre-draw. It's a very light pre-draw. Pre-draw. <laughs> <laughs> you know right. how I like my pre-draws light. Let me tell you who we've got on. I like my pre-draws like I like my women. Yes. So. Light. Howard Pierpont was the first to join us tonight. He's Howard. In what is that? From Limon. 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 He actually, because I said Limon, he put in parentheses before I got to read it, pronounced Limon. Limon. <laughs> Limon, Colorado, 91 degrees, 7% humidity. It is a humid day today. 17 mile per hour winds, blue sky though. 17 mile what? 17 mile per hour winds. 7% humidity is not bad. No. I, I would love it. We'll take it. Love it. Um, we've got Paul Marziani joining us, probably from Bradenton, Florida. That's very possible. That's where he stems yeah. from. He stems. Stems. Lizzie Daughtry is joining us. Hello, you two, she says. Lizzie's joining us from Date City. I'm That's assuming. right. It's normally where she is on Monday nights. Yeah. Michael Allen is joining us. Welcome, sir. Hi, guys, he says. Matt Bunce. Matty Bunce. Matavius Buntis. Joining us tonight. Hi, everybody. He said. Yeah, so we're doing uh, George Jetson's uh, hot rod. Uh, we're going to do it in a an actual hot rod. So we're not going to build a spaceship. Oh. But it will be spaceship like. Like. Um, John Devries is tuning in. Hi, guys. I got my picks today. Thanks. I hope you love yes. them. Fantastic. Um, thanks for your patience on that. Um, and we actually have another order going out tomorrow. So anyone who has just recently ordered, 
that is being shipped tomorrow. Yes. Um, as you know, we are going to be out of town for a few days. So any orders posted tonight probably will not make it out. Well, maybe if they're if they're done before tomorrow shipment. Yeah, it's a possibility. So if possibility. You, tonight would be a good them one. Out before we go, otherwise they'll be shipped early next week. Um, Julie Anderson is joining us. Welcome, Jules. Look Happy at, Monday. Look at already my my funky design for the front steering and suspension. That is nuts. Because in the in the Jetsons mobile, it's got these little things that come out the side. You know, on like the jets. Blower, like the blower. I think the there's a, a main. I think the jets on the back, but I think that these are like antennas or so, something to make it look space age. So I was thinking, okay, so how do I put wheels on it and still keep that element? So, well, there we go. Just did it. There you are. There you have it. So I just got to figure out how I can uh, mimic that on the other side. Um, Julie is joining us from the Pacific Northwest. Hello, Jules. Um, Mike Williams is joining us. Hello from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Alabama. I love it. 98 degrees there. Yikes. That's a hot one. Yeah, what's funny is today uh, on my computer, yeah, from my uh, work computer, I got a warning that I guess in Minnesota they had a heat wave and there was a heat warning. Like 60? No, it was 105 or something like that. What? Yeah, in Minnesota. Wasn't it just snowing there like that's, last that's week? That's what I'm saying. Crazy weather. Uh, Robert Frost is joining us. Hello from Indiana. What's up, Rotarvio? Welcome, so what? Rotavio. Rotavio. It's Robert. Mm -hmm. Frostovia. Rostovia. <laughs> Frosta. Spud Anderson. Frost Frostafarian. of Julie is joining us. It is sketchy time. Haven't seen you guys in a couple weeks. Yes, so we've missed you. Sure we've missed you. We Have you missed room. us? I was just remembering this, and I don't know why I was remembering it now, but it was um, during the pandemic, so 2020. Christmas time. Remember the Andersons did a yes. live broadcast Christmas caroling video. I loved it. Caroling, caroling through the woods. It they so were singing cool. they songs. Were singing. Yeah. All, his entire family sings beautifully. It and was great. Spud plays guitar. It was fantastic. So um, if you have some time, head over to Spud's page. I'm sure he's got the video. Oh, I'm sure it's there. It was Christmas time 2020. 20. Uh, Draco is joining us. He said, on time again, this is getting to be a regular thing. What you don't know is that we were actually fixing lighting at 930. So the first half of that minute. At the I zero hour, suddenly somebody decided lighting. and looked at things and went, I think there's a glare. There's a glare. I'm like, yeah, well, had you been in here about 15 minutes ago? He's doing hair and makeup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Lizzie is giving us her Facebook page. So she's got Elizabeth Handmade Jewelry on Facebook and then uh, Miss Butterfree34 nice. on YouTube. She's got that YouTube channel going. Super she does some good. really cool resin jewelry. She's doing like crystal things. She's got some kind of really going cool on. stuff. I, I have quite a few of her pieces actually. Yeah, you got some cool stuff. So I'm I'm excited. She does great work. This is George Jetson. Bum, 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 bum. James Daniels is joining us. Hey, hey, good evening. Welcome, sir. We've got James Olchin joining us. Jim O is here in chilling at 96. What degrees up, Jim O? That, that is, it's super warm. I thought yeah, if you look, really hot well, if you look, well, you have to watch the news occasionally. I don't watch Get out of your all. work chair for five minutes. Um, there's a giant heat wave going on. Yeah. Giant, I say. It's a heat wave. Lizzie said she loves the Jetsons. I do as well. Um, and I actually did watch the show. Couldn't tell you any one of the specific episodes. Isn't that weird? Like, you just don't remember them? Do you remember them? No, I don't. I was trying to think of... Specific ones? Yeah. And I couldn't, I couldn't really think of specific episodes. I want to say that episodes. there was one where George went to go quit. He... he was quitting Space Lease Profits. Right. So I kind of remember that one. Couldn't tell you what happened. Obviously, he didn't quit. I don't know. Um, Naz Malone's joining us. Hey, Naz guys. Malone. How are we doing? Hope all is well with you guys. Same Great, with man. you, sir. Hope everything is going soupy doop for you. Howard Pierpont said, Draco called me and sang the theme. Oh, <laughs> I got to hear this. <laughs> Where do we get our copy? Um, Lizzie Daughtry said, Itty B, what is their son's name? It's his boy, Elroy. 
<laughs> Will Green is joining us. Howdy, everyone. Welcome, sir. Bob McLaren is joining us. Hey, all. What's up, um, Bob? And Bob is on the broadcast tonight, and I just want to again throw this out because we have a pending pizza date in the Trenton area Trenton. in New Jersey on Friday. So anyone who is willing to take the drive, um, let me know, and I will send you where we're going to be because we'd love to meet up with um, any of the New Jersey Peeps. Jalopy Army people. Would love it. Love it. Love it. Ronnie Ogas is joining Ronnie, us. Ronnie, what up, man? Hello, you too. It's been a while. It I'm has. Sure I watching you guys. Love you both dearly. Ronnie, you are amazing. What's up? Good to I've hear been, you. I've been watching him post happy birthdays. And He's he says, the best. It's not a happy birthday unless you have my car on your page. Well, <laughs> listen, but it's... He's so, it just he's such a positive person. He is. He is. Yeah. I love it. It's really cool. Thanks for tuning super, in. Super, super grateful we've become affiliated uh, to know or to... Yeah, have that gentleman in our midst. Dave Dotterer. I love saying your last name. How fun is that? That's, right. that's Dotterer. Like my whole name to say, right? That's so me, Dotterer. Dotterer. Because I always go RRR. <laughs> Dave Dotterer. Hey, from Ohio. It's been a while. As I said up, earlier, Dave? you and Ian need to build a Jetsons hot rod. Right. I'm sure you're not the only one who thinks that this should happen, especially with the talents of Ian and the whole bubble top thing that he loves to do and is so good at that. What do we think so far? The idea of the Jetsons uh, hot rod here. Get in. I'm zooming. That is super cool. Georgia Lights said, lines, listen, I know we fly around. <laughs> I used to be able to do the noise. <laughs> not no. yeah, pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> not anyway. Bad. Um, but he's like, What's his wife's name? Jane. Jane, yeah. Um, Jane, we're going wheeled. <laughs> Mama Wood and Tim say hi -de ho Love you, my babies. It was um, recently which, Tim's birthday, yes, and this is in I tribute. Was just going to shout out. I'm sorry, but this is in tribute because Tim suggested as one of his birthday uh, gifts to do the Jetsons car. Oh. So, Balamo. So uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Tim is an alien. Speaks to aliens. He does speak to him. Is an alien and loves all things aliens. Yes. So, this is right up his alley. Total spacecraft. We love you, Mama and Tim. Uh, James Olchin says Lincoln was 104 high today. That's nuts. John Debra said tomorrow Minnesota will be 105 and humid. Ugh. Yeesh. Draco said it's still 88 in Georgia. Yeesh. Nice. I could do 88. Right. Phil Dahl says, love your work, Johnny. Thank you very much. Um, Hank Dunn says, all the Jetsons were the same George. Oh, we're the same. George messes up either at work or at home, and he spent the entire show trying to fix it, either with the help of his kids or his maid, Rosie. Loved Rosie. Right. She was so sarcastic and cynical. <laughs> do you remember? Mm -hmm. Draco said, save me a seat for pizza. Oh, are you driving up? That would be fantastic. Frank Capello said, I'm liking this so far. Uh, Ken Farrell said, we're going to the Blitz on Wednesday. Going to try it. Nice. Blitz? Where's that? Um, Ed Rhodes is joining us. Hi, Johnny and Eddie B. Hey, Seed Eddie, checking in from Ohio. It's been a long time. It has hey, been, Hey, Glad Seed. Glad to be back. Welcome. Do you recall the first time we he was saying hey seed and we we're like was that your name hey seed eddie that's right remember well because he's from ohio i know oh. <laughs> frank capella said make sure there's room for astro i don't know are you drawing Astro? no um, astro's not getting in rock bro no Astro. no rastro this time robert e lee is joining us welcome mike Williams said astro oh ken farrell said daytona is where that is okay oh. Um, Hank Dutton said the ballroom blitz. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the song? I don't know. You never heard that song? No. You never heard ballroom blitz. Who's it by? Stray Cats? No. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I don't know who it did originally. Who sing it? You, Wayne, it was in Wayne's World too. Lots of I people probably, have covered I it. We know it. What is? How does it go? 
I can't think of it off the top of my head. Oh my god! So you don't know? I do know. This is what he does, and then he makes me feel stupid for not knowing. Well, but he himself does not know. If it. the shoe fits. Um. So Johnny printed me out like twelve pages of Jetson trivia, um, and I want to share Not Jetson's it. trivia. Jetson information. It's Wikipedia, my it's, source of all things. It's not sure. trivia though. Um. It's here's what I didn't. It's know. info. I didn't realize because we all know I grew up in the 70s. I thought I was watching the original Jetsons. Johnny's telling me, and this supports that it actually was established in like six in the early 60s, 62, 63, and that what I was watching may not have been the ones they were doing then. It could have been the reruns. You were watching probably the new Hanna Barbera stuff. Were the ones from the 60s in color? Uh, I think the early ones might have been, yeah, maybe. I don't know if it says it originally aired in prime time from September. So, and that's crazy too. So, prime time I've always thought was evening TV, like between six and eight. Right. They want they put a cartoon in prime time. Does that sound? I right? think prime. I'm thinking that they're meaning like prime cartoon time. Who determined that, that would have been Sunday or Saturday morning, you know? Um, it says that the Jetsons was Hanna Barbera's space age counterpart to the Flintstones. Makes yes. total sense. Yes. Never put it together until now. Um, but yeah, 1963, um, or I'm sorry, 62, with primetime reruns continuing through September 22nd, 1963. Um, and then it did a whole nother where they um, released more in the early 70s um, and all the way through till I think the final ones were in 87, which is crazy because I feel, I guess as a kid, when time goes by, you think it's much longer than it really is because I didn't, or maybe the other way around where you think time is long, but it's actually super short. Right. I would just remember them. It, it had been, it had always been on. Like my entire childhood was the Jetsons. And then I also grew up watching um, Tom and Jerry. That mm -hmm. was that was like my main thing was Tom and Jerry, Bugs Bunny, the other hand. It was really all Hanna Barbera stuff. And then um, well, Bugs Bunny was Warner Brothers. Oh, and Warner Brothers, yes. So that was it. I mean, I and then I know you were saying that there were plenty of cartoons that you watched that I didn't. I never saw. Like you said, Johnny Quest. Never heard of it. Yeah, it's crazy to me. Now, was he an explorer? Quest? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Like futuristic stuff? Um, well, I think they tried to, you know, they were always exploring. But mostly they were like in the, you know, he had his good buddy Haji. Haji? Mm-hmm. Are you making this up? No, his good buddy was Haji. <laughs> okay. Jeez. I've never, I've never. Johnny couldn't have a friend named Haji? I suppose he could. They were always in the midst of the desert or in the jungles or, you know, it was, it was basically, it was like a kid, Indiana Jones. And where were his parents? Like, was it his dad and, uh, his dad was there and then Haji's dad was there. Yeah. On adventures with him. with him. Was, yeah. But the kid was running the show. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> And then I watched Scooby Doo. Like it was Scooby Doo and Tom and Jerry and Bugs Bunny and Warner Brothers stuff. That was all. That was really all I watched. We only had, I don't remember cartoons being on at night. It was only Saturday mornings for me. Right. Probably Sunday mornings, but we didn't watch it on Sunday mornings because we slept in. And then my mom would make breakfast and it was a whole thing. But Saturday mornings, I was able to watch TV until until my father got up and then we were doing work around the house and stuff around the house and the tv was off and then of course we all know from my prior stories <laughs> that i couldn't watch tv at night because it was his tv so yeah um bob and Claren said the roadrunner was the best i did enjoy that one yes well. roadrunner uh, lizzie said randy loves to watch johnny quest it was a great show see i never saw it hank said johnny quest was always was always saving his dad. His damn dad, the scientist, was always getting. Yes, his dad was a scientist, and there was always some kind of problems going on. 
Lizzie said, I even watched Johnny Quest. Draco said, Ray Spannon, Mike Pence. Mike Pence, the politician? Who's Ray Spannon? Did Mike Pence voice over Ray Spannon? <laughs> so, wait, wait. You're the type of person that thinks there's only one person ever named Mike, Mike Pence. Pence. Like the people that go, oh, what's that thing? Was where the, Mike, guy, where the guy was Pence? named Michael Bolton. And they go, oh, were you related? Yeah, because everybody who's related has the same exact name. Is it Mike Pence? Is that his name? I don't yeah, even know. You just read it? I don't know. He was our vice president. <laughs> was I? <laughs> Hank said, Grape Ape, Captain Caveman. Yes. We do. The Batman ones were the best. I was just thinking Batman one of the Batman things. Cartoons. One of the things we may be doing this coming uh, next few sketches. Uh, by the way, if you're really enjoying this, please hit subscribe and like. Bing! Because um, we're now going on YouTube. Hi, YouTube! Yes! Welcome to the game. Or we should say, welcome. We're glad to be here. Be here. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about Hong Kong Fooey. Do you remember Hong Kong Fooey? No. Oh, that's right. We had this discussion. Yes. And I said, and, his, and he was voiced by Scatman Crothers. And you're like, who's, who's that? that? <laughs> then I had to say, do you remember the movie Shining? Yes. And oh, the... yes, the guy in the beginning, the groundskeeper guy. Well, he wasn't. In the, he was in the whole movie. Right, but I was he? <laughs> I thought he got killed. He was there till the blood came and all that stuff. That, no, that wasn't the beginning. Yes, no, he did. he did not. When the blood flooded down the hallway, he was there. Yeah. With a mop? No. <laughs> he was the groundskeeper. <laughs> no. Lizzie said, Stephen watches Tom and Jerry Bugs Bunny. Loves Roadrunner. Oh, Draco said, look at them. So I guess there's a resemblance. I will have to look. Oh, I see what he's saying. Okay. Robert E. Lee said, George, Judy, Jane, Elroy, Rosie, and Astro. Yes. Fantastic bunch. Um... John Lamoureux is giving us a YouTube link, which I cannot click on from here. Um, Hank said Jabberjaw, Ant Hill. Yes. Bob. What is that? Jabberjaw. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That sounds familiar. What was that? Jabberjaw was a shark. In the water or on land? Yeah. Well, he would get out on land. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cartoon. It's his own show. Uh, I want to say. It was called Jabberjaw. I think it was called Jabberjaw. Where? Was I? Look it up, man. I don't even know. Like it's uh, the name sounds familiar, but I can't picture his face. He was a shark. Um, Ken Farrell said Ballroom Blitz was done by Sweet. Hank said, "Oh man, Hong Kong Fooey was the best. He was a janitor by day and a crime fighter." That's at night. right, Hong Kong Fooey. Was he a guy or a? He's a dog. He's a dog. Yeah. He was a janitor. Yeah. <laughs> What channel? Who made that? I want to say that was a Hanna Barbera too. I could uh, be wrong. John Dever said Bullwinkle. I I do remember that. Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle. I do remember Bullwinkle. Did you just say Bullwinkle? Because that's, that's what he wrote. Oh, I'm sure. I'm <laughs> sure. Right. I read it like he wrote it. I'm like, sure it was a misspell. I'm sure he didn't mean to say. Hank that. said Secret Squirrel. What the heck is that? Secret Squirrel. Not that one. I don't, I know. don't know that one. That's some underground dark stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> John Devery said Yogi Bear. Yes, I did watch Yogi. Yes, Yogi. Draco <laughs> said, look at the look at the bottom, Jane. Blah, blah, boom. Oh, he's looking at Jetson's form. <laughs> look at Jane. <laughs> Maybe she zoomed into the pitch. I, I am seeing it. She's got like a, she's, she's got a Kardashian waist. She's got some hooters. <laughs> Uh, I mean, did you see the bag of Hooters on the side over there? She brought him wings. Oh, did she? <laughs> uh, Danny D is joining us. Blessings from Las Cruces, New Mexico, you guys. Huge fan of yours from Miami that moved back to this isolated desert. What did you do? Uh, Matt Bunt said underdog. I underdog. I underdog. Underdog. Now, was underdog his own thing or was he part of like the electric company or something like that? electric company or one it? of those shows no you think it's a spinoff i don't know i do remember under because it was underdog and then that's the same time as george of the jungle do you remember george of the jungle george, as a movie george. no it was a cartoon i don't remember the cartoon you don't remember the cartoon 
Oh my goodness. George of the Jungle. Tom Slick was my favorite. Tom Slick. So yeah, see all those, like those three were in a, like a block of cartoon oh, times where you'd see those all at the same time. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Maybe they're part of Rocky and Bullwinkle show. I don't know. Mighty hmm. Mouse. I remember Mighty Mouse. Ed Rhodes said Mighty Mouse. Adam Ant. Isn't he a singer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or maybe it was called Adam the Ant. I don't know. Yeah. We were talking about it earlier, and I, I told Johnny, I want to call my son, because he said to me, because I named off those few that I know, and he goes, you didn't watch cartoons with your kids? I could not for the life of me remember what you watched cartoons with my kids. I remember my kids watching Blue's Clues. Well, let's like especially call them, them see what what, do you, what were you guys watching? I'm going to say Blue Clues and definitely Power Rangers. He was in a Power Rangers. I'm going to try and reach my son, Dylan, right now, so let me give him a call. Hopefully he answers. We're going to give... She's got a beauty mark. She does? I just gave her one. And hopefully you guys will be able to hear him on speaker. Pick somebody to be your... Who's going to be the person that tells us if the, the volume is good? Hello? Dylan? Yeah. Hey, you're on Sketchy Live with us. Well, the Sketchy Live is <laughs> Dylan Klingo. I, I have a question for you. So okay. we're tonight, and I don't know if you're watching the broadcast, but um, tonight, <laughs> sometimes he doesn't watch it. It's, it's a couple hours different. Um, tonight we are drawing the Jetsons, and we were talking about cartoons, and Johnny and I were talking earlier about cartoons I watched as a kid, and then he said, what about the cartoons you watched with your kids? I don't remember you watching cartoons. I remember Power Rangers and Blue's Clues. What cartoons do you remember from your childhood? I mean, there's a bunch that I would watch, but we didn't really have cable, so it's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's selling me. The out. truth comes out. <laughs> it is true. We we uh we didn't have cable for a little bit. Well, but... mom, if you weren't such a shitty parent, I would have been able to watch some cartoons. <laughs> do you so what what do you remember hmm. watching? Well, I remember I liked going to the dentist because they would always have Dragon Ball Z on. Dragon Ball Z. Okay. At the de- this is he loved going to the dentist to watch cartoons. How sad is that? <laughs> but no, I mean there's a bunch on like I think it's like Cartoon Network. There's a bunch of stuff. Like but, what? See, nothing even sticks in your mind. Well, I mean, like The Simpsons was something I remember. That was okay. Like, yeah, The Simpsons were that started when he was little. I let you watch probably, that when probably. you were little. I'm sure no. he was. Yeah. yeah, we watched that. I don't remember how little were you. I'm talking about when you were little. Wasn't um, it? It was more. Oh, uh, like Ren and Stimpy. Oh, oh Ren and okay. Stimpy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ren and Stimpy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I watched that with you. That is much worse. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. I remember you. Yes, watching. Beavis and Butthead. Oh, yeah. Those those were adult cartoons, though. Those weren't kid cartoons. Well, because that's when Adult Swim came out, and then that was. You watched that when you were little? I'm little. I don't remember. Like, as a kid, kid, I don't think I really. We didn't, like I said, we didn't have. I watched a lot of our VHS tapes, like Lion King and Hercules and stuff. But Yeah, we did have uh, movies on tape. We had VCR movies for you guys. So but not a lot of TV. Not, not a lot of real time. Well, so I was a good mom. I limited your screen time. You're oh, right. look at that. <laughs> well, you also gave me homework in the. In the summers. Oh <laughs> <laughs> and you're brilliant now. Again, welcome. <laughs> well, I do remember Power Rangers was a huge thing for you. So this was like the era that you grew up in was the era when like reality TV started, I think. Because that was like the time Survivor was, came out. Right, but it was more where they were doing live action TV. It, more, yeah, a lot of live not that they weren't stuff. doing that in Meyer because we had Land of the Lost and in the. Oh, um, that's true. Um, I just didn't really care about cartoons. I think until I was like a teenager, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, then because yeah, like, there was definitely in the in your teen years, there was definitely more uh, animated stuff that was made for older, uh, more mature content. Right. Right. And that's yeah. what I liked. I liked to watch any of it. Yeah. Um, Power Rangers, though, was a huge deal for you, I remember. And we met in real life the Red Power Ranger. Do you remember right. this day? 
no, but I'm doing my retail under there. You don't remember meeting him? You were psyched. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, no, I used to watch Rugrats. I used to remember that. Oh, oh Rugrats. Rugrats, yes. Okay, okay, okay. So there were a few questions, and I remember that one, too. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Well, cool. Well, that was that was it. Those were the questions that I wanted to ask. Really, like, some real remember. barn burner brain teasers there. I forgot we didn't have cable, so... <laughs> <laughs> Probably why why I wasn't watching TV either. <laughs> we would get like one channel and it'd be like movies or something. Sometimes it'd be like Jaws. I remember that. Oh, PBS. We probably got PBS. We did get PBS, yeah. You were probably watching Mr. Rogers and some after school specials. Um, uh, and then reading Rainbow or some shit was on. Oh, you watched that? <laughs> Not often. <laughs> <laughs> but it was TV. What do I do? Anything. <laughs> goodness mm -hmm. all right well we'll let you go thank you for your input um i will see you in new jersey in a couple days i'm excited yeah, man. uh dylan's meeting us out in new jersey with my family this uh week so he will be with us for our fun friday hopefully he's going to join us we have a pizza date with uh jalopy army members on cool. friday so you're welcome to come should be fun okay all right. perfect well i love you i'll talk to you soon love you too right. see you Bye. dylan Okay, so I knew that he had to have watched. That makes sense, song, though, because the, yeah. the the time frame was right when there was more adult cartoon content, and a lot of TV was. Uh, people were even saying, "What is this? This is weird. It's why is all these cartoons for adults now?" And it, think about now, there's so many uh, animated uh, shows for adults. There are. Okay, so let's see. Let me catch up on comments here. Thanks yeah. for bearing with us, guys. I just want to get Dylan's uh, take on his his childhood cartoons. So he did remind me of a few that I had forgotten about. Yeah, here, um, look at what we got. Yeah, that's what I'm zoomed in on. Uh, Draco said they even made a movie for Underdog. They made a movie. Really? Was it a? Was it? But was it an? Anime? I remember. Oh. Was it an action or a, what do they call it now? It's live action is what they call it when they take a cartoon and make it real. Right, people. I remember that. Yeah. That was like just recently, like within the last mm, ten years. Yeah, ten so. years probably. Um, Kevin Farrell said Astro Boy. He was a good boy. <laughs> um, Robert E. Lee said the Flintstones. I absolutely loved the Flintstones. Yeah, definitely. I watched the Flintstones a lot. Mm. Well, it's funny if you go back and you really watch them again. Um, surprisingly, really adult, racy humor. Oh, was it? Yeah, that was. Yeah, if you really listen. When was the last time you watched the Flintstones? No, I mean, go back and you watch, and it's. I, I watched a thing on YouTube about it. Okay, I was like, are you just sitting there watching cartoons without me knowing? I do a lot of stuff without you knowing, Beth. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm sure you do. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hank said Jimmy Neutron, DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, SpongeBob, Thundercats, Voltron. Okay, yeah, yes. Oh, I watched. Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's right. I watched uh, um, Voltron. I watched that as well. Never heard of it. Never um, heard of Thundercats. I didn't really like Thundercats, but I did watch Voltron. I did watch, you know, what was my favorite? <laughs> Eighth grade, I remember. Eighth grade, especially seventh, eighth grade. Hurrying home because right when I got home after school, uh, Inspector Gadget was on. Bing, bing. Oh no, that's Ricochet. Right? Yeah, <laughs> Inspector Gadget. <laughs> he and, used to make noise too, and he would just do like some kind of. Nee, 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 yes. Nee. Yeah. Anyways, and so I'd sit there, and my mom would uh, always buy, go to the store, and she'd buy. <laughs> burritos from Safeway and the, they were microwave burritos of course you know the microwave band was like yeah Mike what right um we are rich what is this this is crazy <laughs> yeah um but it was be beef and potato burritos oh it was the best so I'd warm up a beef and potato burrito and I'd sit there my, my dad had cut down our thing and made a, a bar so we could watch tv I'm surprised your mother even allowed that food in the house being what are you she talking cooked, about she made that kind of food and then here you are eating fast food this is my mom wouldn't have to cook then oh, I guess I guess um Draco said us old guys watched Popeye yes Popeye sure. but see again, Popeye the sailor was, for sure for that, sure okay was Popeye a movie first or a cartoon first cartoon was it yes Robin Williams 
I don't remember the cartoon. Have you oh, never no, read I Popeye? do. I do. Because his muscles will get big. Yeah. I do. I remember the cartoon. Did you ever see any of the black and white Popeyes? Probably not. Those were the ones. Probably not. Now, I forget what, I want to say the guy's name was something Henson. And Jim? no, I don't think his name was Jim. Was Muppets. No. And he would do, it was like the Popeye the Sailor Hour or something like that. And he would sit there and he would introduce it. And then it was on, Little Rascals were on around the same time. So it was Popeye and Little Rascals kind of thing. I remember sitting, I remember I'd go visit my grandparents as a little kid. And my grandpa would let me go in his bedroom to watch Popeye and wrestling. Was it Popeye the cartoon? Or yeah, Popeye? Popeye the cartoon. Oh. Popeye was a movie. Rascals wasn't cartoon. That was Little a... Rascals was a, a, a television show. It was a show, but it yeah. wasn't a cartoon. No, it wasn't a cartoon. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Was that a cartoon first or a movie first? It was a cartoon first. It was? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was a comic book first, I'm I think. Way behind. Way behind. Um, Tom was Top Gun a movie first? <laughs> Robert E. Lee said Tom and Jerry Roadrunner loved it. Draco said it had Jim Belushi in it. What did? What did? Which show? Um, Robert E. Lee said George of the Jungle. Yeah, George of the Jungle. And that you're saying that was a cartoon before it was a movie as well? Yes. George of the Jungle was a cartoon. A very... Not the greatest animated card. I guess it was pretty good, but uh, the premises were all pretty stupid. Hmm. George was always George was always running into the tree. See you. What's sad? Then your George of the Jungle is who? What's his face? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Uh, played an airhead. Yes. <laughs> Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser. <laughs> That's you. You know oh, George of the Jungle is Brendan Fraser. That's so that's hilarious tracy corfield's joining us hello my friends finally made it home is dead Aww. that's like saying Glad you're here now. i know batman as george clooney i do well i'm saying that would be what you were saying michael keaton was my favorite batman. right of course well a movie batman yeah uh draco said bella and ursula what is that from um Hmm. Bella, I'm trying Ursula. to think what that oh, is. Were those the princesses in Cinderella? No. Maybe. Bob McLaren said the Adams Family cartoon. <gasps> what? Was that a cartoon? It may the have. Movie? May, I don't know. If that, that. I don't know. Gavin Little said, what a fun drawing. Yes. I'm going to zoom in on it again. I think Johnny's going to get ready to do some color here. We're going to try to add some color. We're not going to go too crazy. Um, and as you can see on the bottom of his screen there, um, where it says uh, official sketchable artisan, I like how you've added that. Yeah, right. Um, Johnny is using a sketchable app tonight, as always. I mean, if you buy it as a print, that won't be on the print, yeah, of course. But. Um, but great, uh, great little program that he's using here. We are excited uh, to be affiliated with them. And... Um, we're so happy that they like Johnny's work and recognize him as somebody uh, who people are watching and can see the app in use. Oh, uh, yeah. But I'm proficient in the sketchable app. Yes. Um, and thank you to Hank Dutton as well for putting together our website. Looking uh, he's, great. He's at that uh, endorsement on our website mm -hmm. in our About Me section um, on johnnychalopi.com. So we're Happy about that. Thank you, Hank, for taking such good care of our website and for the great ideas. Guys, we have a um, we have quite a few more subscriptions on YouTube than we have had. Yes, so please we, subscribe and keep, like us. Yeah, keep checking it out. So, I mean, what you're seeing here live, um, Hank is working to get all of our um, sketchable Monday nights over on YouTube. So there's a, a complete library over there as well. But um, viewable from anywhere, viewable on your TV. If you get, if you have uh, YouTube on your, yeah, your TV. So yeah, it'll be on your T cool on your TV. On your TV. <laughs> um, Hank said, "Oh crap, forgot about Inspector Gadget. That used to be my favorite too. Next time, Gadget. Next time. <laughs> That's right. I'll get you, Gadget. Next time." Uh, the McCoys are joining us, Brian and Lisa McCoy. Um, Space Ghost and Thunder. Yes, Thunder the Space Ghost. Thunder the Barbarian. 
Thunder the Barbarian? No. What was his name? He-Man? No, something Barbarian. He-Man the Barbarian. No, they're saying Thunder. Hmm. Ken Farrell said Gigantor was a robot. Oh, John Dever said Felix the Cat. What was he from? I do remember Felix. Uh, he was from his own cartoon, Felix the Cat. <laughs> he was the head one. Um, Lizzie said, how about Huckleberry Hound? Yes, Huckleberry, Huckleberry Hound. Hound. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so glad we're doing this. Yes, Huckleberry Hound. Also, uh, uh, Droopy. Droopy the dog. What did, what did he sound like? Oh, geez. He was really droopy. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? I don't know the voice was. I'm gonna wind up doing it. But it's droopy. Say, <laughs> That's Foghorn Leghorn. I know, and I didn't even watch that. I don't know how I know. That. I don't either. <laughs> oh, God. Sounds like a Kentucky Colonel. Huckleberry Hound here. How did he talk? Huckleberry Hound didn't sound like that. He did. Oh. Draco said, "Little rascals were always on." Yep. Um, the McCoy said Captain Kangaroo played different cartoons. Oh, so Captain Kangaroo was an actual person with the really bad that, ball haircut. Right? That was li yes, that was live action as well, almost live like a uh, almost like a Mister Rogers. Within that, they played cartoons. I think they did. Yes. Okay. Um, Draco said Underdog. Oh, okay. Underdog. Underdog. Um, Fast as lightning. Da 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 da. Matt says the story behind the real Popeye is very interesting. I actually posted it not too long ago. Yeah. I may have seen it. I may have seen that. He's a real dude. Um, Hank said Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was a black and white comic. It was a pretty violent comic. It was toned down for TV, but it needed it needed up being a smash. Oh, it ended up being a smash hit when it came on TV. Yeah, my kids were my kids were into that. In fact, Kevin, I think mostly. Everything was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We, mm. we might have even done a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cake party or cake. Yes. Oh, Lizzie said Josie and the Pussycats. I do remember Josie and the Pussycats. I liked them. They were a spinoff of something, though. What were they a spinoff of? She was in something. I believe they were uh, part of Archie and the Archie and the Gang. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but that was more. That was a comic. Right. Yeah. But no, Archie was a cartoon. Mm hmm Comic. Comic first. cartoon. It's a comic first. Gavin Little said, uh, very uh ever remember watching Chuck Norris Karate Commandos. Chuck well, let's go. Now we can go into yes, there was there was a <laughs> there was a Mr. T cartoon. There After. was there was like a chips cartoon. There was, there was? oh, there was all there was a Dukes of Hazard cartoon. There was uh, I don't remember those. I, there was a Hulk Hogan cartoon, I think. Um, Everything was cartoonized, but they do that now. Cartoonized, too. isn't that what you would say? Tuned, <laughs> maybe tuned. Um, he said, "GI Joe's Mighty Mouse Care Bearers." I don't think I watched Care Bears. I remember being on. I don't think it. I yeah, think it, I didn't care. Scooby Doo Beetlejuice. That was a cartoon. Oh, well, yes. The Beetlejuice was a cartoon. Before as well. the movie? No. Okay. After the movie. No, no, Snorks. I don't know what Snorks is. Garfield and Friends, et cetera, back when cartoons were actually good. Yeah, they were. Yeah, those were the days, man. When everything was nice and violent, you know? <clears throat> Violence was prevalent. Um, Bob McLaren said, Adam's Family Cartoon, it is the second cartoon show to feature the characters. The first was a 1973 series, also produced by Hanna-Barbera, and it ran from September 12th of 92 to November 6th of 93 on ABC. Hmm. The series development began in the wake of the successful 1991 Adam's Family feature film. Two seasons were produced. So their cartoon was after the movie. Okay. Uh, Frank said those tires should be future stones. <laughs> future stones. It's a great uh, addition there. Maybe we'll think of it. Yeah, yeah. Hank said the plan is to post a video a day, so we will have a sketchy live every day until Christmas. Season one all the way up to season five. Sweet. Great plan. Thank you for your hard work. Yes. It'll be amazing. Um, Gavin Little said Rocky and Bullwinkle. And I do, what were they? Uh, uh, like Bullwinkle was a moose and Rocky was a squirrel. Oh, Rocky was a squirrel. Yeah. 
I seem to recall that. <clears throat> yeah. uh, Tracy Corpel said Mr. Peabody was a dog. Yes, that's okay, true. So um, what's that from? Uh, that's that's from the inspector one. No. Mr. P. It was Mr. Peabody and something else, but uh, they were their own <clears throat> oh. deal. Um, Danny D. said Mr. Magoo. I do remember uh -huh, Mr. Uh -huh. Magoo. Gavin Little said Captain Caveman. Yes, Captain Caveman. Excellent. Andy, you said Mazuma homies. SWAT cats was Hanna-Barbera as well. SWAT cats. Hmm. Never heard of that. Oh, school is on what that is. <clears throat> I don't remember that one. Let me look it up. It like I it, I want to say it sounds familiar. SWAT, SWAT cats. cats. Hmm. The radical squadron. Interesting. Does that ring a bell? No. Really? No. Nineteen ninety three sci fi it was on for two seasons. Hmm. Never saw it. They look like cats in space. Cats in space. How crazy. Yeah. It's in, uh, and there's probably, you know, the, there you go. So there's there's cartoons that we, you know, we were over there I watching. It was bad not knowing that. Watching some of the ones that, you know, they didn't even see some of the other <clears> ones, you know. Andy, you said, um, oh, I already read his. The McCoys said speed buggy. Yes. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, speed buggy. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hank said, uh, gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. We are the gummy bears. What? <laughs> they had a, was it before the candy or did, was the candy the trendsetter for the cartoon? I have no idea. Ken Farrell said McGill a gorilla. Yeah, McGill a gorilla. Remember that. Cassidy's tuning in. She said the fam's here. Cass, did you hear Dylan's segment? <laughs> Um, Hank said Rocky was a beaver, I thought. No, he's a squirrel. I guess it depends on whether his tail is flat or not. I don't know. Rocky was a squirrel. What was his last name? Squirrel. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle. Let me see. Rocky's a squirrel. He is a squirrel. I know. That's what I just said. A moose and a flying squirrel. Flying squirrel. In Frostbite Falls, Minnesota. That's right. Minnesota. Hey, Rocky, watching you pull a rabbit out of my hat. <laughs> okay. Move it on my sleeve. And then it would explode. Hmm, I guess I'll need another hat. <laughs> Here's something we think you'd really enjoy. <laughs> and then they go to a cartoon. You should have been you are a cartoon <laughs> character. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Bob McLaren said, wasn't there the Great Ape cartoon? Oh. Um. Yeah, there was something. Some. An ape that would definitely go great, babe. Um, Hank said SWAT cats, they flew jets. That's crazy. I don't I, remember I don't SWAT cats. Tracy said Rocky was a flying squirrel. Yes. Um, Robert Lee said speed racer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, we've got Jake, Jake, and Cassidy uh, tuning in. Speed racer Kids, for sure. Um, so for your era, they were born around the 2000 mile marker. Um, what cartoons did you grow up watching? If you could share with us, that would be fantastic. Because that's so that's uh, ten years difference from Dylan, so we'll see what what they grew up watching. Uh, Frank Capello said, "How about a futuristic five, like on the Thunderbirds, which was all marionettes?" Yeah, the Thunderbirds for sure, right? Paul Marziani said, "Rocket J Squirrel." Gavin Little said, "Speed Racers and also Transformers." Transformers. Oh, yes, Transformers. I don't know why I go into my Kermit. And I, I don't either. Every <laughs> every time you sing that song, you do. Because I just remember the guy. More than me. I don't know. Autobots. Cassidy said Tom and Jerry, Rugrats, SpongeBob. Okay, so those are. Yeah, SpongeBob those are was a big thing norm. that they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tracy Corpel said Captain Kangaroo had Mr. Green Jeans. That's right, Mr. Green Jeans. I don't remember that. I don't think I watched. I think he scared me. That guy. Why? He was a nice guy. I don't know. He looked weird. Who was the guy who played him? Captain Kangaroo. No. What was his name? Captain. No. <laughs> Captain Kangaroo. He was actually was knighted, so it was Sir Captain. It was um, Bob Keeshan, Hugh Branham. Bob Keeshan? <gasps> Number of episodes, 6,090 episodes. Of um, 
Captain Kangaroo. That's insane. Yeah. How did I know? This was like, how were they not airing this every single day? They did. That you, is crazy. When you were locked in the basement as a child, it. you just missed out. That's 29 all. seasons it was on. This has to be the longest running. It's not. How is it not? Because it's not. 29 seasons? Guarantee it's not. Theme songs. Puffin Billy. Was that about somebody who smoked? Gosh, babe, why are you... This was the 70s. Why would you think there'd be references to to that kind of stuff? That's wrong. What killed Captain Kangaroo? Because the a dingo ate his baby. Yeah. <laughs> From the kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. He was a scary looking dude. I, I was not a fan. 1955 that started, but for 29 seasons. That is nuts. No, that's Captain Kangaroo. I did watch um, Pee Wee's Playhouse, but that was more. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you call it? It wasn't a cartoon. It was live animation or yes. live action. That's what they call it. Action. Um, Frank said Bob Keeshan. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Cassidy wants to know what was Dylan's bit. I had called him on the phone and asked him what cartoons he grew up watching, and he proceeded to tell all the viewers that we didn't have cable when he was little, so he didn't watch anything. <laughs> it was basically a wow. Um, Lizzie said, how about the Muppet Babies? Uh, I remember watching the Muppets. Yeah, Muppets were... I think they had Baby in the title. I wasn't going to watch. <laughs> Ken Farrell said, Soupy Sales. Was that the same guy? Soupy Sales. No, that played who? Oh, no. Soupy Sales was different. I do remember Soupy Sales. Um, but I don't remember the show. Oh, he was just a comedian. He didn't have yeah. a show, oh. per se. There was no Soupy Sales show. Actually, there might have been a Soupy Sales show. Was there? There might have been. Uh, Frank said, personally, I like Mr. Green Jeans and Dancing Bear better. Lizzie said Heathcliff. Oh, yeah, 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 Heathcliff. Who is that? The cat. Garfield? No, Heathcliff. Who is Heathcliff? A cat. Who was Garfield? A cat. Heathcliff. I can't picture this. You don't, yeah. you don't think you could have more than one cat? This looks exactly like Garfield. No, he doesn't. He looks like Heathcliff. It's very Garfield-like. No, Garfield was actually stolen from Heathcliff. Heathcliff was first. He was created in 1973. Yeah, when was he? Uh, Garfield. Garfield. 80s. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 76. Very Boom. freaking similar. Right. 73, 76. Who stole who? How did they not? How did no one catch that? Because Garfield ate lasagna with sleep. Heathcliff was, was a an terror. Adventurer? He was in terror. Oh. You mess with Heathcliff. See, Garfield would be like, oh, and he would do, oh, leave me alone, and he'd go to sleep. <laughs> or Heathcliff would be punching your face. That's nuts. I never put two and two. I he might punch you in the, the thing. He might punch you in the, <laughs> in the nuts. <laughs> He's been known. Uh, Hank Dutton said Peavy's Play, Playhouse has Cowboy Curtis. Giddy up. I don't remember. Yeah, do you remember the Cowboy I Curtis? I don't remember that. I remember watching it i can't remember any i couldn't tell you any of the episodes uh gavin little said that jetson car looks like something ian could add to his bubble car builds this is what we're saying this is what we're saying cassidy said sounds about right she's laughing jake's laughing at the fact that we had no, no cable. cable yeah, yeah. she well. said all right heading out lucky bulb <laughs> thanks for stopping in kids thanks <laughs> the family affair tonight um, and I, I guess I should mention my middle son, Kevin, who I don't see on here tonight, but did do our intro music. Wrote, That's right, yeah. Wrote, produced, and performed our intro music. That's so. right. So all my kids are involved er, in Everybody song. diving in to help. <laughs> um, Hank said Heathcliff was a hillbilly Garfield, LOL. Wow, he was a hillbilly. <gasps> How could we forget Robert E. Lee, the Smurfs? Oh, yeah. Yes. Totally forgot about the Smurfs. Nah. I love it. And I'm a Smurf fan. I can draw a Smurf. Like I'm, it's nobody's business. I'm a fan. Ken Farrell said wacky racers cartoon. Yes. 
wacky racers weren't they little i thought those were those little cars what are those cars? they are little cars and there was they made a cartoon yeah yes ah. lizzie said alvin and the chipmunks the smurfs well i guess there are quite a few others that i could not recall watching because <laughs> i i seriously drew a blank i was like oh my god i drew a car I was like, is the dementia already setting in that I can't remember? <laughs> is the dementia? That's funny. <laughs> but I can't remember all of these cartoons from when I was little. You, because again, you probably just didn't watch them. You were too busy outside playing with Skunky. Um, or riding my bike. I, I was an outside kid. Like I said, my really, my only TV time was Saturday mornings. I'd have that couple hours before my parents got up. And then um, all of my primetime stuff was spent watching sitcoms with my dad, Benny Hill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, every once in a while, I'd watch like um, The Love Boat, like little drama series like that with my mom. And yeah, I just, uh, I don't remember a lot of So you were deprived stuff. of being a child. Well, we didn't have cable. So. Yeah, so your parents. <laughs> No, we didn't have cable, but my father, Jimmy, rigged it. And we got all the channels. <laughs> you mean he, uh, Ralphie rigged it? He, Ralphie rigged it. <laughs> we had all the channels, even the ones that uh, yeah. we paid top dollar the for. Sketchy, you know the saying? sketchy porn channels. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember coming downstairs once. He had he had some. I don't, I don't, it may not have even been the Playboy channel. No, he was probably so watching. Was, he was probably watching. Like show, he was probably watching Showtime at like 1.30. When they'd be doing, uh, uh, like the movie strip. No, tees. can I finish? You can finish. It's not going to do with the movie strip tease. It was, it was, they were doing, how was it called? Not jazzercise. Aerobics. Aerobics. Do you remember that? Yes. Where it was just a girl on a turn circle like a circle that spins mm -hmm. and she'd just be doing aerobics and it'd be like 45 minutes of a woman just bending, bending over and one of those numbers <laughs> and then you know a couple of these and then a couple of these you know and it was just tight shots on we a, must we must we must tight shots as she you know zoom back out and they come up with oh we're look at the definition in the in the chest area and then it zoomed back out and then as soon as the butt came around and it was a shot and they were so you were pretty physically fit as a kid <laughs> I, nobody was doing it with them <laughs> yeah the, the nation didn't suddenly get fit because of showtime's after dark aerobics channel Matt Bunn said Teletubbies. Oh, yes. This Chubby was, Tubbies. This was a big one when my kids were little. All right. Yeah, Teletubbies they did enjoy. Um, Lizzie said, my son Stephen loves that show. We still have the VHF of them. Of the uh, exercise thing? No. Oh. Teletubbies. Okay. Or Hank said Skinamax. I remember them calling it that. Yeah. We had, we had all of them. We had the movie channel. We had Cinemax. We had Showtime. We had HBO. My father did something with tinfoil. To this day, he he could probably get us free cable at this point. I don't know how the heck. I don't think you can do the technology now. That was all when it wasn't digital. Yeah, that was true. Uh, Lizzie said the Dukes of Hazard was a cartoon. Yeah, I remember that being a cartoon. Yep. Mike Frucci's joining us. Good evening, sketchy people from Clear Seventy Seven Degrees in Homo Sasa. It's Homo Sasa. <laughs> what I say? Homo Sasa. Sasa. We just went through this last episode. <laughs> Frank Bogan is joining us. Speed buggy, he says. Yes, yeah, speed Fantastic buggy. Fantastic one. For sure. I'm guessing because I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And here's the thing. Don't really watch TV now. I really don't. Whatever. What do I watch? Everything all the time. I watch reality stuff, HGTV shows, home improvement stuff, cooking channels. Those are my shows. More. And then this one makes me watch car shows. There's no this one. Look, this your one. Your husband's doesn't... on TV. You don't want to see you, it. You oh, don't watch it. I do watch. You it. haven't watched a single episode I've been on. Oh, you're so full of it. We I'm had, not full of it. We had house parties with people here watching episodes. Oh, so you're right. The first episode I was ever on, we had a house party and people came over. Since then, I've nice. watched every episode. Yeah, haven't. I haven't. It's fine. 
And so I remember when we had rabbit ears, you could put a Pringle can on them and they would get better reception. That's right. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at her. Very cool. What a great, you're so good at faces now. Look what you're doing. I just people. copied the cartoon Still. drawing of her. Still. It looks good. Look at just the way you did the shading. It looks very cat the artist pin -up -y. She does such a great job with uh, faces and shading and makeup and stuff like that. It looks very good. Lizzie said Pac-Man, Richie Rich. Oh, I do remember Richie Rich. Mm -hmm. I do remember that one. Yeah, there were some fun ones for sure. Some of the ones that it talks about on here. Um, 27 years later, a new direct-to-video animated movie, The Jetsons and WWE Robo WrestleMania, was released in 2017. That wasn't that long ago. I don't oh. remember that. Direct-to-video animated movie. Was it The Jetsons and WWE? Might have been. Or two different things. That doesn't even, why would they have been together at all? Why not? It says, in contrast, the Flintstones, while always produced in color, was broadcast in black and white for its first two seasons. The show was scheduled opposite Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color and Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace! Mm. So that was that was not a cartoon. I don't know if it ever was turned into a cartoon, but it was definitely just a regular show. I remember watching the regular show. That and I Dream of Jeannie. Remember that? Mm. I loved I Dream of Jeannie. Well, that wasn't a cartoon either. No, it was not. These were not cartoons. Um, the Jetsons are a family residing in Orbit City. Oh, I didn't remember that. Did you remember the name of the city? Uh -uh. Orbit City. The city's architecture is rendered in the Googie style, and all homes and businesses are raised high above the ground on adjustable columns. George Jetson lives with his family in the Sky Pad Apartments. I don't remember that either. Like, I remember seeing the setting, but I don't remember the names of anything. His wife, Jane's a homemaker. Their teenage daughter, Judy, attends Orbit High School. And their son, Elroy, attends Little Dipper School. <laughs> I don't remember those names either. Housekeeping is seen, too, by a robot maid named Rosie, who handles chores not otherwise rendered trivial by the home's numerous push-button space-age envision conveniences. And think about that. So this was, again, initially put out in the 60s before microwaves were a household item. But mm -hmm. that was basically the concept that they were portraying in the show. And now here we have all of these space yeah, think, age features. Well, think about video calls. Yes. Zoom alone yep. was something that was like the idea that you talk to people through your a phone or a device. Think about, you know, on our, our watches now, when we were making fun of Michael Knight and we could, know. were getting receiving information from our watches some of us are really into it where they talk about their sleep score for an hour and a half <laughs> <laughs> i was talking to my hairdresser um joey the other day he he is a total um apple guy to the max he's got everything iphone everything i so he has he any mimi any he, any mimi in there he bought a new car <laughs> hooked up to his phone so he can start the car from his phone, turn the lights on, whatever he has to do from the phone. His entire house, lighting, appliances, all of it hooked up to, and sprinklers, hooked up to his phone. Like, it's insane how we can control everything from a handheld device and not have to be, he, he was actually on a cruise a couple weeks ago and said that his cameras were still um, giving him updates like, when the cats would enter a room and stuff like right. that. Right. Yeah, yeah. If they saw it. And here he is miles and miles away and getting these updates. Like the technology is just, it is crazy. And it, it, what's cool to see is that what was portrayed in this show really has come to pass. I mean, <laughs> yeah. pretty much everything. I, I'm still waiting though for um, the little, like the whole meal thing where you just add water and it becomes a meal. That well, we kind of had that. In soup fashion, but not quite to the degree. No, think about we have We have dry, uh, freeze-dried meals and things like that. Right, but it doesn't come out like theirs did. Like a whole broiled 
chicken. And really? We have things where you stick a meal in and you 30 seconds and you have a whole meal. It's not really hell it is what you're talking right. about. Right. Well, that's the whole point of it because it was smaller storage. I loved the pellets. Um, the family has a dog named Astro that talks with an initial consonant mutation. <laughs> That's how they describe it. That's, That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Talks with an initial consonant mutation in which every word begins with an R, as if speaking with a growl. A similar effect would also be used for Scooby-Doo, and that is true. I do remember Scooby too having mm -hmm. that same. Speech impediment. Speech impediment, yeah. which I, I didn't think was an impediment. I loved it. Or Scoob. Um, let's see. Oh, Lizzie said, "How about Schoolhouse Rock?" Yeah, we did. I we did talk about that. I do, and I couldn't tell you uh, one episode or one song from there, but I remember them. Um, Hank said, "I wish Calvin and Hobbes would have become a cartoon." I re I remember reading it. Couldn't get into it as much. I was more of a Family Circus fan. That was a comic. yeah, and that also I think at one time might have it became an animated uh, deal as well. Yeah, he's saying he wished it would have become a cartoon. So maybe he didn't see it. Maybe it really was a cartoon. We'll have to go back and look now. Uh, Mike Fergie said, "Lizzie Daughtry, uh, conjunction junction. What's your function?" That's right. <laughs> I am a bill on Capitol Hill. I'm just a bill. Um. John Devery said Flintstones, loved the Flintstones. Tracy said George worked for Spacely Sprockets, yes. Um, the competition was Cogsley Cogs. Yes. <laughs> I didn't remember. Really, that. really took a huge leap out there with the idea. Mr. Cogswell Cogs. What is, what is Cogs? What's a Cog? <laughs> well, you know what a sprocket is, right? Yeah. Be the other side of the. Uh, that the sprocket goes to. Oh, okay. What it fits into. Sure. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I did, I never even knew that. That is so funny. I just did made you it know up. that? I just made it up. I don't know if that's true. Oh, you don't know? <laughs> What's that's, a cog? So that's how you answer a question, and you just convincingly say, "This is what it is." Cog. Dictionary. A wheel or bar with a series of projections on its edge, which transfers motion by. Yes, it is. It is what. It is. It is what? It is. It works with a sprocket. Hmm. Who knew? You knew. I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mike Fruzzi said rehydrator on Back to the Future 2. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. So mm -hmm. there was a taste of it then as well. Uh, Russ Randall's joining us. Welcome, sir. He said Gigantor the Space Age robot. What is that from? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Let me look it up because that's he's not the first person to mention that. Gigantor the Space Age robot. Never heard of this guy. Have you seen this one? No, that sounds like something that they did after uh, my like my giant or whatever. That... This was back in 1963. Huh? Action fiction. It was on for two seasons. A young boy named Jimmy Sparks commands Gigantor, a large robot of his father's creation that Jimmy calls upon whenever the world faces danger. Wow. See? Wow. 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 That is cool. I didn't. Uh, so that was uh, definitely that's a. Did not see that one. One before my time type deal. Um, what else was a good one? Um, we said Speed Racer, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, cartoons from the early 70s. you know what's crazy is i was thinking about this the, uh, the other day too I was, remember, I was asking if you've ever ever watched tippy Longstocking. and i know that's I man that's not a cartoon it. that's a but i think they did do a cartoon of it too i have watched and it, i think about how much i remember, I, remember. I watched it a lot i watched punky brewster yeah, punky and tippy Longstocking. So cartoons of the 70s, it's telling me Josie and the Pussycats, Scooby-Doo, but then it puts Scooby-Doo, where are you? Right, that's because the, that was the name of the Scooby-Doo wasn't enough? Well, that was the name of the show, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Uh, Jabberjaw, Speed Buggy, The Jetsons, Johnny Quest, Schoolhouse Rock, Bugs Bunny Show, yep. Hong Kong Fooey. So we've mentioned all of these. We're doing pretty good, guys. Super Friends. 
Well, yeah, of course, Super Friends. We didn't go into those. The, all what the, the heck is that? Batman. That was Batman, Aquaman, Superman. Oh, all the men. Um, underdog. Wonder Woman. Harlem Globetrotters. Yes, the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. I did my. They would always visit. They, to see the Harlem they would always visit uh, the Scooby Doo show. Tom and Jerry Space Ghost. Space Ghost. We, someone mentioned that one already. Wheelie and the Chopper. Bunch. Wheelie and the Chopper Bunch. Yeah, yeah. Never heard of it. Yeah, that was a good one too. The Great Grape Ape Show. Banana Splits Adventure Hour. I'm yes, that was a live action. Goober and the Ghost Chaser. Yes, Goober. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm looking at the photo, and this looks very Scooby the Doo like. Scooby Doo like. Well, that's just that. that Look at that. That's what they did. They did a lot of those kinds this of is, things. Where where it's exactly you like understand? The other thing, so and they the, were able to steal it. So back the then. Brady Bunch. I just watched the thing. The Brady Bunch was kicking butt, right? The yeah. Brady family, right? So the Partridge so family. Partridge family. The monkeys. Partridge family. They come by. They went. How do we? How do we beat them? Well, we 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 do a Brady Bunch, but we also do the monkeys, and we make them a band. And no one sued anyone. This was back when people weren't litigious, I guess, because everybody has an issue. Godzilla, the new Scooby-Doo movies. Looney Tunes, the new Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four, yeah, yeah. Funky Phantom. Inch High Private Eye. I remember him. I do remember him. That's funny. Inch High Private Eye. That is so funny. There we go, guys. Um, Russ Randall said mostly New York, uh, mostly New York City TV market. Okay. Um, Ken Farrell said, look up Astro Boy. Tracy Corpel said they can have their Gigantor. We have a Johnny Jalopy backed by an ABB. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Bunn said Fat Albert. Yes. Yes. I love Fat Albert. <laughs> Loved him. You okay? Yeah. Right. I was doing the hey, hey, hey. Oh, I didn't know what you were doing. Gavin Little said, next week, as long as everything goes smoothly, I'll be setting up and showing off my random drawings and woodwork in public for the first time. Gavin, Congrats. Yes. Congrats. That's great. Just happens to be the biggest car show in our area. I'm nervous and excited all at the same time. I definitely have to say thank you for being an amazing inspiration. Ah, uh, whatever, man. You you go get them. Gavin, it's Johnny had the same hesitation the first couple you, times you we got this. set up. And it. you know what? We just went into it with, you know what, as long as somebody sees me and knows my name. If you go in there with a thought process of, I don't give a crap, if all I want is people to see it, yeah, to see it, and they walk up and they, they smile, and then they talk to me about a memory, that's a win. That's a win-win right win there. Win. Yeah, for sure. There we go, guys. There's our little silly Fantastic. Jetsons little silly thing, so. Very cool. Do you dig it? I do dig it. Guys, likes and loves. You're up to 46 oh, likes and loves. Oh, my God. You like to do. You got to sign it. Highlights. Oh, what? Yeah. Give us a minute, guys. What time is it? It's only, we're only an hour and 13 minutes Okay, in. we can. Let me, me bang, only an hour and 13. Let me bang out some highlights on this real quick. But you actually did pretty good time tonight. Um, Hank said, both my kids would rent Pippi Longstockings every time we went to the library. They watched it all the time. They didn't understand the girl that played Pippi is like 60 years old now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they argue all the time about it. That's so funny. So funny. Because it's it's a timeless show with the same values. It was great. She was a, she was an adventurer and and I was you know I was a boy. I don't know if anybody knows that, but uh I was a sailor. And you thought she was cute? No. Oh. Did I say that? Of course, to... you. That's the first place you go. What Have like? some self-esteem, Eddie B. Jeez. <laughs> it just thought I said hippie. Yeah. So, oh, so she was a cartoon. No, it was a 1997 film, but first it was a movie or a show. Everybody's like, "Have some." Have Might have some... been a book. Well, what's that? Pippi. It was a book. Pippi Longstocking books charged with racism. Nothing is sacred. No, in the United well, States. let's you go back to Huckleberry Finn, that same yeah. thing. Is Pippi still alive? Yes, she was born in 59. She She's alive every, every time that uh, Itty B sees a frog and calls it Pippi. I do call it a frog, <laughs> <laughs> Little oh, Pippi. Oh, my God. 
gosh. I don't know what happened in the backyard, but we have a couple splatted yeah. dead frogs. I don't know. They just came to our backyard to die. I don't Some know. doomsday stuff going on back there. Daily life is leisurely, assisted by numerous labor-saving devices, which occasionally break down with humorous results. This sounds like 2022. <laughs> what is this? What just happened? This is, this is George Jetson. His daily life is leisurely, assisted by numerous labor-saving devices. Ah, uh, okay. That's how we live now, which occasionally break down with humorous results. The the, he is, would have always have problems, especially with the treadmill. And then it says, this is, this is 2022. Despite this, everyone complains of exhausting hard labor and difficulties living with the remaining inconveniences. Mm -hmm. Why people problems, right? Is well, I, I don't think you should have said that, but okay. That's what they say. Everybody gets upset. I don't, I don't know what race had to do with it, but uh, whatever. That's, that's the saying that everybody puts. Let's make sure we uh, edit that out there, Hank. Thanks, please. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody says. It doesn't matter what said. sayings are being said. It, you shouldn't be saying it. Country. We shouldn't be saying it on Sketchy Live. That's I'm all I'm going to say. It. You just did. They're saying. You just did. I just reiterated. No, you just said it. Because of this. It's combat. fine. We all know. We all know the truth. Ken Farrell said, that's awesome, guys. Paul Marziani said, great jabe, job as always. Great jabe. Great jabe. Robert E. Lee said, that is a cool drawing. Great job. James Wilson said, old shows are the best. Anyone remember Mork and Mindy? Yes. yes. Love Mork and Mindy. In fact, my sixth grade teacher looked like Mindy. Um, yes. Huge Mindy crush. Oh, yes. So there you have the crush. I did. Um, their child was Jonathan Winters, and he was hatched out of an That's egg. That's right. <laughs> Tracy Corkville said, oh, George Winters. wearing your trucker hat. Yes, he is. He is indeed. Of course, of course. the trucker hat is in green, but. The trucker hat is not in green. Um, Under the brim is green. But we do have the trucker hats available. Yes. Uh, Johnny's wearing one tonight. We have a trucker hat in uh the black and white the original logo design available just like george here except in black and white we also have the sketchy speed equipment gray and black trucker hat available as well on the website beanies that i am always sporting beanies on the website as well 25 bucks for those which is a steal i will tell you they are comfortable they are good quality we get some really good quality products made for us um stickers on the website we do have some stickers we have a couple sticker packs available um and also t-shirts galore we're talking galore we have like 25 different t-shirts available really cool designs of johnny's over the years a couple um of the cars that you did with ian on full custom garage those yep. are on t-shirts and available so check out the website check it out spud said i am watching while wearing my johnny uh or while wearing my jalopy army hoodie yes we did a, a series of hoodies a limited availability over the winter months mm -hmm, or people mm -hmm. will probably roll that out again that could be fun uh, in right? a couple more months for the winter when when summer is quickly over in some, yeah. in some are we, of those states. Are you already <laughs> willing it to be some no, winter? I'm just saying it seems to go, summer seems to go so fast. So, Mike Fruji said, although it's not officially an awesome drawing, if Lizzie Dosh, you won't make it a screensaver. That's true. It has and not been said. And she did say, oh. Lizzie did say screensaver okay. okay. in all caps, so you know it's true. Shaggy LaBlanc is joining us. Welcome, sir. He said, absolutely awesome. Keep Welcome. Up. These colors are going to pop. Pop, I tell you. Uh, Tracy said, Johnny caught me in my hat when I posted my new glasses. Yes, I saw that as well. Look good. We love you guys sporting the jalopy gear. We're so happy that you're enjoying it. Ken Farrell said, going to your website. Fun Monday night with everyone again. See you all next week. Ken, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for hanging out. There we go. There is the uh, – actually, you know what? I want to make those those numbers yellow. Okay. Let's do that. The numbers or the letters? The numbers. What numbers? Oh, okay. Gavin said, well, it's been fun. Drawing is amazing. See you later, Gavin. Thanks hey, for joining us. Good luck. 
Um, and guys, again, please, if you're in the New Jersey area, Trenton area, and want to meet up with us on Friday, we are going to do a get together. Just contact me for details. Bob, I thought if you weren't doing anything and you might want to take a ride over, um, we talked to um, Robert Spear. He's not going to be able to make it. We had hoped to be able to catch up with him. As you know, he runs the Bantha Milk podcast. Yes. Him and his buddy and uh, had Johnny on the show uh, last year. I think it was last oh, year. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, and we were hoping to meet up with him as well, but he's unable to make it. So um, as of right now, I think we're just meeting up with Joe. Um, so let us know if you would love to uh, get together. We would love to see you. James Wilson said, have a good week, everyone. Thank you for participating with us tonight. There we go. There's George's Jetson Mobile. That is so cool. There we go. Very cool. Well, thanks for Frank Fruit and Fram. Eating pot and pot and pot and Great job, babe, with all the, the Jetsons information and the so cartoon fun. stuff. And so we had cool. we had a phone. I'm so glad the phone call thing worked out because that might be something we could integrate. We'll definitely we'll have, have to listen to the quality of yeah. how it came through and see people if people were a, saying it was good. Cool. So, yeah. so yeah, or we'll just have to mystery call one of our uh, people out there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, best, Rachel Green. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go, guys. Another sketchy Monday night in the books. In the business. Uh, please head over to uh, johnnyjalopy.com. Uh, this print will be available there for 20 bucks. $20. And uh, you were part of it. So it's uh, cool to have and own uh, something that you were part of. It was great talking about old cartoons. Yes. It just makes you want to go watch a bunch of old cartoons. I kind of do, and I never really want to watch TV. I know, but I right? I kind of do. Like some of the ones you didn't, you weren't familiar with. Like I think it would be cool to go. We need to see if they're on Netflix. When we when we oh, lay down true. in bed, we're watching like Seinfeld reruns right. to fall asleep yeah. to. I, what about cartoons? Because I probably wouldn't go to sleep. Or am I going to wake up to a Batman? Wham! <laughs> Bam! Well, Batman, the Batman <laughs> cartoons were cool too, but you can't you can't beat the old live animation ones. I still watch those every time they're on. I think I forget who has them. They still show them. Love them. Kid Adam Hart. West, man, Kid the best Hart. for sure. Uh, anyways, uh, we sure love you guys hanging out with us and, and love. Go ahead. I did want to say, um, next Monday is our, uh, trip home. So I do not know. Stay tuned and we'll let you know. I have a good, we are... yeah, I have a good feeling based on just the travel and stuff. It's going to be tough, but maybe we'll do a pop in. Uh, uh, maybe not so much a drawing, but maybe just a quick little, we, if we do anything. We may do some pop ins, uh, during the trip actually as um well. yeah maybe so i don't know about lives tuned. but we'll see how it goes stay but tuned. we sure appreciate it hey and if you're watching us over all there on the youtubes we sure appreciate you as well please hit the like and subscribe and of course you know, follow me on facebook follow me on instagram and uh yeah tell a friend monday nights are fun to hang out with we love having you guys with us we love how much you guys are a part of the show yes, right yes i love that's the, comments. the best love it. it is the greatest part of it uh, you guys make us think of things and it's so fun to just to go and talk about fun stuff uh, with you guys. So we sure appreciate that. Um, and of course, as always, stay sketchy. Stay sketchy. We'll see you guys next.